Hey everyone, uh, it's BJ with Reef Therapy. I just got back from the local fish store. As you can see, I got something acclimating right now. It's actually a, a nice sized piece of an Acropora, uh, multiple branches, almost looks like a strawberry shortcake. Uh, the local fish store said it might be a pearlberry. I don't know about that. I've been at least temperature acclimating it for a few minutes now. Uh, probably close to like 20 or so. I bought it and came straight home from the fish store, so it should be all right the way it is now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the tank. Let's see what's up. Little short dip, and we're gonna place it. All right, so a little bit of water. Actually, yeah, we're gonna get some tank water. This is gonna be my rinse. And then, got a towel out of the way, this empty one, I'm going to put the water that's in the bag in the empty cup. So, let's get this off, a lot of times you just get a little bit loose, pull in the opening, and it should come out. Clownfish, always so curious. Thankfully, it's not a biter like some I've had in the past. Here. Try not to. Oops, missed. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this guy up. Nice and easily. Acker on the air, but, hey, you know, it's okay. It'll be alright. While that's sitting in there, rinse that up a little bit gonna do very light coral rx dip the color on this is awesome a half a cap full because it's not a lot of water i actually think i'm gonna add a little bit more water to it just to be safe really like this local fish store i feel pretty confident about the things that i get from them but you should always dip corals. There's only a few that you really shouldn't. Um, but for the most part, absolutely should. I'm gonna take a picture with a yellow filter of it just to get you know, some things to send to my friends, I suppose. This looks amazing as it is right now. Alright, I'm going to give it uh, about two minutes and then going to dunk it and then put it in the tank. You can't really see it from this camera angle because I got my floating rock there, but I got it all dipped, ready to go. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it high. Uh, everybody always says acclimate to the light. That's absolutely great advice. I'll be honest with you, every single acro that I've ever had, I've never done that with. Um, and. I've had pretty good luck with acros. Um, not great advice there. Don't follow that advice. But I'm going to take the chance because I like to be a little reckless sometimes. Um, so take my piece here. We all know it. I like to put on some super glue. Uh, big old chunk because as soon as it hits the water, it's going to get that skin over the top. And very light pressure with my fingers because. We do not want to damage the skin. And then it's basically going to be a couple step process here. I just realized this rock comes out real nice and easy. So what I'm going to do very carefully with this rock, this coral, I'm going to fold it up, grab some glue, a huge claw of it on there. And gently press that down and let it stick. Perfect. I got this unknown red acro. I don't know what it is. That's supposed to be a paletta pink tip, and that's a blue tip stag. So it should be good now. I'm going to place this guy back in the tank very carefully cool awesome right in the tank 
Good to go. Good to go. And it looks amazing in that spot. I know you can't see it because the floating rock, but <laughs> I'll get that out of the way. All right, then we got it placed. There it is. Looking nice on that rock. Get those other acro there. Really good. All right. Thanks for watching.